Hello there, welcome back to my channel, Mascara Magic. So, today's Wednesday and oh my goodness, I have got so many unboxings to do today. I am literally living in a room of boxes. Even though this room might look quite tidy behind us, don't be fooled. Either side of us, like at the front, my goodness, it's like a warehouse. So, I've got a lot of videos to get through today. Hopefully I'll get through them because tomorrow I've got a lot of different things going on and I won't be able to do any recordings tomorrow. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed guys, that I get these videos done today. So I was literally just standing in the hallway waiting for the postman to come because I had a confirmation email saying that, you know, Royal Mail will come today. As you do, you get like text messages and stuff. So I thought, right, quick, have a quick shower, wash and dry my hair. So I was drying my hair in the hallway downstairs because we've got a big mirror in the hallway. Anyway, so I'm stood there nosying into the porch to see when the postman's coming. I'd just finished drying my hair, ding dong, there's the postman. So this is my glossy box for September 2020. See, one, one minute just waffling on about nothing. But yeah, this is my glossy box for this month for September. Now, glossy box is a monthly beauty subscription box. I'm just showing you what it looks like there. We are back to the normal kind of baby pink coloured boxes this month. Sometimes you get like a special limited edition style box and most of the time it's the pink boxes. So, glossy box, monthly beauty subscription box. It'll cost you £13.25 a month and that includes postage. You can, however, sign up for like a 12 months contract and basically get the box a pound or two cheaper, which is definitely worth it if you're pretty sure you want you want to stay with the box for 12 months because once you've signed that and once you've signed up to it, that's it. You are tied in for 12 months. So I think I'm tied in for 12 months and I'm not even sure when it renews, but hey ho, I'm happy with it. It's a good value beauty box and I do enjoy it. It's pretty much my favourite one, if I'm quite honest. This and the Look Fantastic box are usually my top two boxes. So, instead of waffling on anymore, I will crack on and show you what I got in this month's box. Now, I've had a quick sneak peek, I've had a quick look, just to check that all the products were there, because a friend of mine got their box, I think it was yesterday, and one of her items was actually missing. So, yeah, I was quite anxious to see that everything was in. And there is something missing, but it's not a product. It's the leaflet. <laughs> anyway, so this is the box. Like I say, the leaflet's missing. When I opened it as well, it just looked a little bit tatty inside. Now, glossy box is usually really good, neat, really nice presentation. But when I opened the box, it looked like it hadn't been like very nicely put together. It looked like it had been thrown together almost. The bow wasn't very neat, and usually it is really neat. The tissue paper was all scrumpled and the sticker was kind of half ripped off. So I'm not really sure what happened there and there was no leaflet. Hey ho. So I can't tell you anything about the prices of the products and I can't even tell you about like about the products other than what I know about the products myself. So yeah, I've actually messaged Glossy Box on social media, basically asking them to send us an email format of the leaflet so that I can actually see how much things are worth and also see how to use one or two of the products. So, I'll show you what I got inside the box. And I believe I got variation one, just because I know a few people will be interested to see what variations people got. And on the outer box, I'm just gonna double check because I've got it right here. Variation one, yeah, definitely says variation one. So I'll start showing you what I got, guys. The first product is probably the star product of the box. This is by Avant Skincare. Advanced Skincare has got a huge hefty price tag. Definitely wouldn't pay the price tag for their products. They are nice products, but for me, the price tag really doesn't match. I think I would put them on par with maybe things like L'Oreal, you know? Like, I wouldn't say they were anything special. I would say they were more of like a high street type brand. That's just my opinion. They're certainly not a bad brand, and I would purchase them at a high street price but definitely not at the price tag they've got them priced at. They have got these priced at around about 80 or 90 pounds, and that is for this size, the full size, which is 50 mils. So what is it? It's a Supreme Hyaluronic Acid Antioxidizing Duo Moisturizer. Now, it's still got the seal on, guys, so I'm not gonna open it, but I will show you what it's like up close. The packaging on the Advanced Skincare is really nice, really neat, plain and simple. So it does look really quite smart, but like I say, it's got a seal on and I'm not gonna take the seal off 
purely because I have got several moisturizers on the go at the moment and if I open another one you only get a certain shelf life on them so after like six to twelve months they probably start to smell a little bit stinky so I really do try to just open one or two things and get them used up as best I can so next product I believe you could have got a variation on this as well this is wishful yo glow enzyme scrub which I believe is in collaboration with Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty's companies behind this brand not 100% sure but I think they are this is 20 millilitres so it's just like a deluxe mini sample size but yeah I was pleased to get this because not every box is going to get this I think some boxes are going to get Elemis enzyme papaya peel I think at least that's what I've been told <laughs> so yeah really pleased to have got this but again it's got the seal on and I'm not going to take the seal off because I'm not going to use it quite yet I do have actually a little sample size on the card to use of that which I haven't used yet so I really should get that used first and if it doesn't agree with my skin then I'll be putting this in a giveaway but only if it doesn't agree with my skin because it might agree with my skin who knows some things do some things don't because I do have quite sensitive skin anyway next product I believe I've had this in a look fantastic box once before it's by a brand called ameliorate smooth skin science intensive skin therapy so basically what is it well I read the small print on the back and it seems to be like a multi-purpose balm so it's just like a skin balm so it's like a moisturizing skin balm so if you get dry kind of dry patches of skin on your, your elbows your knees just wherever you get dry skin basically put this on and it's supposed to kind of make it more moisturized and nourished and help it a little bit to make the skin a bit more smooth and soft yeah basically it's like a, a balm moisturizer but it's particularly for dry skin so you're not supposed to use it all over your face you're not supposed to use it all over your body just literally where you get dry patches which for me would be my elbows my knees and my ankles other than that i don't really get loads of dry skin to be honest so yeah not sure whether i'm going to keep this i'll put it in a giveaway because yeah i don't actually get loads and loads of dry skin so just give us a second guys because my leg has completely gone to sleep oh the joys of sitting on the floor i should not be sitting on the floor but honestly the house is just such a mess at the moment my husband's office is in the back room where the kitchen is and he's busy on conference calls all day so i'm in the front room my beauty room's a mess upstairs it's still under construction guys or should i say under deconstruction <laughs> anyway the next product is something i've had a million gazillion times it's by mind tan and it's the coffee scrub now supposedly it's a nice product but i have never used it and never tried it even though i've had several of them basically because it's a coffee scrub i was a little bit frightened to use it because i'm very caffeine sensitive so i was scared that it was going to somehow seep into my bloodstream which is probably a little bit hypochondriac but yeah i was a little bit scared he can't use it so i have put several of these in boxes that i've given to friends or boxes that i've put in giveaways because i've had several of them anyway it's supposed to be a really nice product it's supposed to leave your skin feeling really buttery and really really soft like i say it is an exfoliating coffee scrub it's a nice product to get if you like that type of product and i believe it leaves your skin feeling really buttery and really really soft so the final product in the box not including the little extra freebie which i will show you in a minute is by imperial leather and it is a foam burst pampering luxury gel to foam body wash <coughs> sorry frog in my throat and it is lychee and lotus flower this is just like a kind of travel size it's certainly not the full size and i believe it's only worth about one pound fifty now i remember they had these and i think it was might have been in a mystery box last year and it was the exact same one so i get the feeling that they've had you know uh, a big kind of batch of these sat on the shelf in the warehouse either that or they've ordered more in but the chances are they've probably had these sitting on the shelf for a while and they're just putting it in as a filler item it's completely acceptable to have filler items in boxes like this especially when you get them for such reasonable prices not only that there are some high-end brands within this within this actual box so this is just like a cream to foam shower gel 
and I'll be honest with you I love the smell of those things but Imperial Leather is not a brand that agrees with my skin very well. I don't know why, but it never ever has. I even remember using like the, the bog standard bars of the Peach Imperial Leather Soap when I was younger. And I remember using it in the bath when I was a child and I came out in a rash. I'm not gonna say where, <laughs> but I came out in a bit of a rash and my mum took us to the doctors and the doctor had a look at my skin and basically they said that I was pretty much allergic to soap which is quite strange right but yeah I've got to be really careful what I use in the bath I've got to use really quite mild products and be careful where I put products <laughs> so anyway that will get used but it'll probably just get used more so on my arms and on my, my legs or my feet or something either that or I'll let my husband use it because he is forever pinching my toiletries in the bathroom anyway <laughs> so that's all the products and we've got a little freebie as well which is a little sweet treat it's a Lint Lindor milk chocolate bar. This will get demolished by the end of the day. I can guarantee. I absolutely love Lint Lindor. And yeah, it's something that I always put on my Christmas list to get the boxes of the little truffle type things. And they also do salted caramel ones now, I believe. So they'll be going on my list at Christmas. So anyway, just a little kind of sweet treat there. There's a little extra in the box, which is nice to get. You're certainly not going to say no to getting little extras. So that's everything in the box. Like I say, the leaflet for mine was missing this month, so I cannot tell you about prices. I can certainly guess prices for you, but I can't tell you the exact prices. So this was a freebie, and I believe it's worth about 70 pence, I think. I think that because I've bought it before, and I'm sure I paid about that. <laughs> the Advanced Skincare Face Cream, I believe this is worth around 80 or 90 pounds, which is absolutely extortionate. Like I say, I would put this more on par with high street brands. Maybe a little bit better than that, maybe like number seven. I would definitely put it on par with number seven, which I do like number seven products. I've used number seven products all my life and I'll probably continue to use them. Anyway, really nice skincare product there by Avant, but just such a crazy price tag. The Wishful Yo Enzyme Glow, I believe this is probably worth about 20 pounds. Again, complete guess, I am not 100% sure. But I know it's a good brand and it's supposedly a nice product. But I haven't tried it yet, so I can't tell you that. The Ameliorate Skincare Balm, I'm really not sure. I'm going to guess at about £5 for that size tube, but that is a complete guess. Maybe it's nice stuff, maybe it's average, maybe it's not nice, I really don't know. If you've ever tried this and you use it, or if you got this and you've tried it, please let us know what you think and yeah, let us know what you think. The next product, the Imperial Leather, again, like I say, me and Imperial Leather do not get on, but I believe this is worth about £1.50, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll smell really, really nice, let's just hope it doesn't bring us out in a rash. <laughs> and the final product, the Mind Tan Coffee Scrub, the Exfoliating Coffee Scrub, I believe this is really, really, really nice, like I've already said, it leaves your skin really soft and really nice and really buttery. So, that is everything in this month's Glossy Box. Usually Glossy Box does have a good selection of like products in and you usually get, you know, quite a few makeup products like cosmetics and stuff. But this month they have solely concentrated on skincare and body care. For me, that's absolutely all right, but I do prefer to see one or two cosmetic products. Obviously, everybody's different, but all like different things. But I do like to see cosmetic products. So it's a shame that they didn't just sneak one in there. Possibly instead instead of the multi-purpose skin balm, I would have rather have seen a lipstick or a mascara or a blusher. Just possibly, you know, a cosmetic item instead of that. Just to make the box a little bit more varied. That's just my opinion. Obviously, we'll all have opinions and they're all different. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing of my glossy box for September 2020. I'm sorry about the lighting in here, it's not fantastic. I have got my blinds tilted downwards, which is probably making us look like Casper the Ghost. I have actually got a little bit of a tan, but you wouldn't know it, especially not with this lighting because, yeah, I look like a bloody ghost. But anyway, right, I'm going to get myself going because I've got so much to do, guys. I'm going to have to go and quickly make my husband's lunch because he's busy working on conference calls and then I'll have to get back to doing more videos. So wish us luck, guys, because I'm going to need it. I have got so much to do today and I've got so much to show you. Anyway, everyone, stay safe, stay well, take care, and I'll see you all really soon. Bye for now.